is my heart's desire. I don't know. Not working out. Hmm. What is my heart's desire? I don't know if that looks like a heart. Letitia Houston Art, where I'm spreading a little light to the world, to the canvas. So today I want to talk to you about the heart's desire number or the soul urge number in numerology. Uh, this number is a number that uh, represents your innate knowing, your innate reason for doing certain things, what drives you. And it's a hidden desire so people can't see this this is something that is just within yourself and it propels you and motivates you to uh, act out your destiny number and influences your life path number so all together those three the life path the destiny number and the soul urge number sort of give you a, a more broad perspective of uh, a basic neurological profile. So in order to calculate your soul urge number, it's really easy. Remember the chart that I gave you for the destiny number? If not, I'll put it up here. Boop. Okay, so with that chart, what we want to do is you want to use your first name, your middle name and your surname and you want to uh, only pick out the vowels. So the vowels are A, E, I, O, U. I don't know if anybody remembers that song. A, E, A, O, U. Hey guys, so that's the little rhythm code and it's A, it's E, it's I, it's O, it's U. Uh, you can use the Y or take it out, interestingly enough, when it comes to the soul edge number. Um, so, for instance, if your name was Brian, or if your name was Terry, you can keep that vowel in, or you can take it out. Uh, use both ways and see how that resonates for you, and whether you feel like, yeah, that's, that's really my number, that is how I operate, that is what I'm motivated by. Uh, it's interesting. So, here's one I prepared earlier. So, we've got A, which equals 1. E, which equals 5, I equals 9, O equals 6, U equals 3, and Y equals 7, if you choose to use it or not. Uh, so I thought that I would do like a little example, and the example I wanted to use is the powerhouse musical genius, Aretha Louise Franklin. So Aretha, um, in her first name, she has the A, she has the E, and she has the A, which equals to a single digit of 7. With Louise, it equals to the single digit of five. Uh, Franklin equals to single digit of one. Totaled up together, that equals 13, which breaks down to a single digit number of four. So the secret soul uh, number of Aretha is the four. So the energy of the number four is about respect, practicality, and building a, a solid and firm foundation. So what's interesting about Aretha Franklin is she had that um, hit song R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. So that's her song and she exemplified her number to the fullest. The four is about material success, about uh, building a really solid foundation, it's about the mind, the body, the spirit and the soul. Those are the four aspects for that number. It's about um, being responsible, it's conservative, sometimes rigid, they think in uh, a linear way, very logical, very rational, uh, and putting building blocks in place and they're not afraid to work extremely hard, sometimes too hard the force. Uh, and she certainly did do that. Plus she was an Aries, so she was definitely a go-getter. So that is the energy of the number four. I'd love to know what your uh, soul urge number is. I'm going to go ahead and break down all the numbers one by one. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you know, hit subscribe if you like the videos that I'm putting out. 
And if you like this one, just leave me a comment below. I'd love to know what your numbers are. Uh, and I will see you next time where we're going to get straight into breaking down all of the numbers. So until next time, I'll check you later. Bye.